What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. Today I got another GPU to try out. So it's the RTX 3070. This is the EVGA XC3 edition. So I'm gonna get this on my test bench and get it mining. I'm gonna take the 3060 Ti off of it. And since I sold my P106 100s, I'm gonna put my 3060 Ti onto that frame that that was on and get that mining on Hive also today. So the main thing is to test this card out, see how I can do, and probably put this on it with the rig. Uh, it's a friend of mine's card, so I'm building his gaming PC, so I'm going to use it for mining in the meantime until he gets the rest of his parts, and then we'll build his PC out for gaming. Um, from things I've heard of the XC3 card is they're not too great with overclocking, but we're going to see how that holds with mining. Uh, with gaming, I think people were saying they weren't getting good overclocks out of it to to further the performance but the reality is the 3070 already performs great for gaming so that shouldn't be an issue but let's see how it does mining we'll get it on the test bench here and get it going so there it is on the rig uh, the fans are powering down on auto it looks pretty good it is a dual eight pin connector uh, just to show you guys what it looks like I mean very very nice looking card has a pretty nice back plate on it uh, pretty happy with this card, so we'll see how it performs. Uh, the miner's going to start up, but it's just going to be on at stock clocks for the most part. But we'll go into the computer and check it out and see how well we can get mining with it. So right off the bat, looks like 51 mega hash a second. We're at completely stock clocks, and we're on driver version 457.51. Uh, one accepted share already. So I did test one. 3070 and I had it up to 1250 on the memory plus and I think I had the core down at negative 200 so I'm going to take the core down first and we'll get that down to negative like 200 we'll apply that uh, a lot of times with these cards and I can probably test it later but for some reason with the 3070s and 3060 Ti's if you start with your overclock the miner may not work so 51 point so we're still at 51.9 so I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes and then we're gonna come in and start overclocking now it's been running for a few minutes uh, still like 51.9 mega hash a second but we're at 207 almost 208 watts at the card uh, my experience is with Nvidia that the software with Phoenix miner has been pretty accurate I have tested up against watt meters and it seems fairly well. Uh, so let's up the memory. I'm gonna go straight to 800 on this. We'll see how much more mega hash we can get and we'll let it run for a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm expecting to get this up probably plus 1250 to plus 1300 by the end of the video. Uh, hopefully we can get into the 64 mega hash a second range uh, and see if we can still get accepted shares there. Uh, I'm gonna let this run for a few more minutes uh, at this overclock, see if this stabilizes. Looks like it's probably gonna stabilize at 58 mega hatch a second. Uh, once we up this a little bit, then we'll start playing with the power to bring it down to see if I can get it. I have seen people down at 52% power limit. Uh, I My last card I had it at 55% power limit, uh, so it was running about 130 watts, which was pretty good, but still mining at like 62, 63 mega hatch a second. So let, let's let this run a little bit and then We'll see how much more we can overclock it from there. So we're still sitting at 58.2 mega hash a second. So let's up this to, we're gonna go plus 1000 and see where we sit. Uh, we're still sitting at 61C, which is a little hotter than I would like. Uh, but when we tune the power, that should come down. So that's actually, we're going up to 61 or 1000 plus on the memory. I'm gonna put this down at, we're gonna go down to 70 on the power, or actually 75 on the power, cause we're doing 225 watts right now. So let's do 75 on the power so we can bring that down. You already seen the temp go down a little bit. I could jack the fan up a little more too. I just have it on auto. So I could put it up at like 70%, but we'll see once we lower this, we're already dropping down in temp, so. The fact that we're going down this 57, 56C, uh, it's pretty good 
So we'll let this run for a few minutes. Uh, we're at 59.8 mega hash, getting accepted shares. So let's see where we can get with this. 179 watts, almost 180. So we'll see. We'll see if it stabilizes a little bit. Uh, but it looks like we're going to be sitting around the 59 mega hash with this overclock. Uh, but let's run. I'll let it run for a few more minutes, and then we'll up the memory more uh, and check the temperatures. Then still hanging in there at just under 60 mega hash a second. So I'm going to go to 1200 on the memory and we will see what it achieves there. Uh, it's still sitting about 180 watts. This might go up a little bit with the memory increase, but we shall see. Uh, so it looks like we just broke 60 mega hash a second. So we'll let this run. I might try and push that to 1300 on the memory uh, once th this mines for a little bit uh, and we'll see what hash rates we're getting and then we'll try and drop the power. I'm gonna try and drop the power down a little bit more on it after it's mined for a few minutes. Uh, 180 watts at the card isn't isn't too efficient right now, uh, especially when I have a 3060 Ti that's doing 60 to 61 mega hash a second at 120 watts. So we'll let this go for a few more minutes, uh, make sure it's still getting accepted shares and start tweaking it more. Sitting just over 61 mega hash, uh, still all accepted shares running for a total of 21 minutes now. Uh, so I'm going to push this to 1300 and I'm going to pull the power back. I'm going to go to 60 and we're going to see if we can increase our mega hash and still get more efficient on the card. Uh, so 60, I think is pretty good. So we'll see what happens with this, uh, with 1300 at 60, it looks like I went up to 62 mega hash a second, uh, 143 watts, 62. So we'll see if maybe I need to up the power a little bit to get mining faster. Uh, we'll just try 65 for now. We'll see what happens and let this run for a couple of minutes and see what overclock we get or hatch rate. I mean, but up in the power a little bit, didn't really gain me anything in the overclock area, uh, as far as mega hash. Still sitting at 62. So I'm going to up this, uh, we're at 1300. So the highest I can go is 15. So let's put it at 14, see what happens. Uh, it's more of an overclock than I put on my last 3070, I believe. But the other 3070, I think, was running a little hotter. So we're at 62 mega hash now. Uh, pushing 63, so we'll see if I can get over 63. Doesn't look like it right now. Uh, sitting just under 63. So let's put it at 14.25. That should put us over 63. We'll let that go for a little bit and see if it stays uh, stable and see if we can stay with accepted shares. Still holding at 63 mega hash a second. So I think I'm gonna leave the overclock. I'm gonna go to 1450, uh, but I'm actually gonna try and pull the power back to 55 and see if I can keep 63 mega hash a second. Uh, I'm gonna let it go for a little bit, obviously, uh, and see what happens. But I wanna get this power limit down uh, because 155 is a lot of power to be pulling for just that card for a 3070. So now that that's changed, we'll see what happens in a few minutes of mining. So I'm down to 130 watts. We'll see if I can stay stable at 63 mega hash a second. It's been holding for a couple minutes, 130 watts uh, at 63 mega hash a second. I'm gonna put this down to 52%. See if we can get a little bit more efficiency out of it. Uh, Looks like it dropped to 125 watts at 63 mega hash a second. So we'll see in a little bit if I still hold 63 mega hash or if it tried. looks like it's dropping actually. Uh, so it looks like 55% would be my sweet spot there as far as, you know, mining at plus 1450 on the memory and I can get just over 63 mega hash a second. Uh, at 132 watts at the card, uh, and, and everything's been accepted so far. But you know, I guess that's pretty much the best I can get with 
this specific GPU. I have seen 3070s that get over 64 mega hash a second. Unfortunately, not on this one. Uh, I'm still at the 63, just over 63, almost mid 63 mega hash a second. But uh, I'll probably let this sit on the test bench for a while, make sure it stays stable. But uh, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, anyone that's interested in 3070s, they're definitely great mining GPUs. Uh, 3060 Ti's and 3070s are probably my favorite two cards right now. Uh, it's just tough to get my hands on them, and um, you know. But if you can, uh, they're great. I know 3080s you can get almost 100 mega hash a second, but you're also looking at like 200 and some watts. Uh, but I mean, if you have the money and you want to build that kind of rig, that's definitely a very powerful rig. But you know, thanks for checking this video out. Um, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.